Hello everyone, I'm going to be telling you three tip, three tips I wish I knew before I came to Georgia Tech and stick around till the end of the video, I have a bonus tip for you, alright? Just jumping straight in, number one, plan your registration. You don't want to be like me up till midnight, night before registration, trying to figure out on degree works what your requirements are for your major trying to find classes everything's full georgia tech is a big school there's a lot of classes but that means that they fill up very quickly and so you can easily get placed on a wait list or just not get the classes you want so you want to plan your registration out so there's a couple tips to help do that number one you can pre-save your plans on buzzport so you just go on buzzport you make a plan and then when registration day comes you can just click a button and it drops in all your pre-saved classes if some of them are full it'll tell you if it's full but that has been something that i wish i knew when i first came to tech because it would have made registration a lot easier when you're a freshman for your very first semester you have something called facet and that's an orientation where your advisor will help walk you through your registration but after that you're pretty much on your own so you want to make sure you meet with your advisors throughout the semester that's something i still am not doing a good job about but next semester we'll try to be better so once you have your classes for registration you can go to gt scheduler which is another helpful website and if you just put in all your classes it will show you a map and it'll also like show you the times in a kind of convenient weekly schedule and that's a really helpful way to make sure you don't get tripped up when the first week of classes comes and you're scrambling trying to find on google maps where your classes are and that leads me into point number two find out how to get to class all right so i came in the summer for this program called ignite it's a first year summer semester program and it was very hot outside and having to walk to all these classes at georgia tech was quite difficult atlanta is hard to get around period all right there's always traffic there's always stuff popping off and the same is true for georgia tech but not really because crazy stuff is happening but because of all the hills okay georgia tech is east and west campus and to go to from one to the other it's just like this just hills 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 especially if you're a freshman you're gonna have to walk up from the freshman dorms you're gonna have to walk up freshman hill to get to most of your classes and it can be a pain especially august september when it's 95 degrees outside your back's gonna be sweating you're gonna be tired it's not a good time so you want to either get a bike get a scooter get an e-scooter e-bike some roller skates i've seen it all i've seen a guy on a unicycle honestly if people use whatever i personally like a bike my first one was stolen because i'm an idiot and i left it unlocked my second bike the tire exploded so i'm gonna fix that later on but you want to get some type of transportation alternatively you can use the stinger bus system since my bike has been stolen i've been using that a lot more the stinger bus system is relatively convenient if you download the transloc app you can see where the buses are at any given moment it's accurate most of the time sometimes the schedules and sometimes the markers on the map might be inaccurate but you can get a general sense of when the buses are going to be coming the buses will go to most places on campus but you have to be a bit more careful scheduling out your time so that you don't miss it and then have to walk and you'll be late to class because that has almost happened to me a couple of times going into our final points it's a good segue you need to develop a good routine okay this applies not just to Georgia Tech this applies to honestly high school college just in life I feel like a good routine will help you a lot my first two semesters I was waking up at random times going to bed at random times eating at random times and it really was messing with my physical and mental health because I wasn't recovering and I wasn't on top of things and so I was just having to do my work at random times during the day and I wasn't able to really lock in and be efficient with my time and things would come up and I would want to hang out with friends but I couldn't because I had procrastinated and left all my work until the end of the day so you want to create a nice little schedule it doesn't have to be super intense everything like that but use Google Calendar okay Google Calendar lifesaver at Georgia Tech you can put in the locations for your classes I do that you can put in reminders um, if you have extracurriculars or if you have a job as well put that in your Google Calendar so you don't miss work or you don't miss 
the functions you're trying to pull up to. Um, you can also link Canvas to your Google Calendar. Canvas is the platform that all your assignments and all your grades are on. So if you link that with your Google Calendar, it'll give you alerts when your assignments are due for the most part. But I would just put your own assignments in to be safe. And also, everyone has their own work-life balance. There's some people who like to stay in the dorm all day and study. If that makes you happy, go ahead. But there's also people that like to get out more, maybe go to some parties, maybe go to some clubs. I personally really like campus ministries because I like to be around people who share the same faith and beliefs that I do, and it's a good community. So that's what I like to go to. Find something outside of school that you can kind of decompress at and meet people because honestly at the end of the day that's what you're gonna remember from college anyway not the studying and cramming so those are my three main tips transportation find a way to get to class plan your registration and create a routine but my last bonus tip is apply to the honors program if you can okay so when I was still a senior in high school my family and my guidance counselor were telling me to apply to the honors program at Georgia Tech. I didn't want to. To me, at that point, I was done. I did not want to write any more essays. I had already applied. I had already gotten in. I'm like, I'm done. But that one essay you have to do for the honors program, I would say it's not that difficult. And once you get in, you get access to 8th Street Apartments. All right, and let me tell you, as a freshman, this is probably the best housing you can get on campus. You get a full kitchen and you get your own bedroom and you'll share it with either four or six people in your apartment. But having your own kitchen, your own bedroom first year, that is clutch, all right? You're not gonna get that in any of the other freshman dorms. Most of them are like just doubles and the facilities, some of them, are updated some of them are not um, so if that's something you're interested in, I would recommend applying but with that being said thank you for checking out the video this is a quick one but I wanted to knock it out before 2024 comes around happy new year to everybody and uh, stay tuned on the channel more videos coming see you later peace